Hey guys, it's Paul. Welcome back to Epic TCG Channel. Today we have Magic 25. So uh, these were not widely regarded as being very good when they first came out. Uh, what was it? About a year ago now, uh, back in 2018. Um, you know, to be honest, I was not terribly, I liked a lot of the cards in them, but uh, you know, the expected value to me at the time just wasn't enough to make me purchase these. Uh, since then, the price has come down very, very considerably on these. I picked these up, picked up uh, about a dozen boxes at about $147 per box. Um, currently, the price per box is about $160 each. Um, the break value on these is more than, uh, you know, the expected value is, is a little bit higher. And the prices on a lot of these cards are starting to climb. So uh, let's take a look. This is, uh, this is the guy we're looking for right here. We would take her. Mm, this one, not so much. So this one, her, me. All right. That's what we're hoping for. Um, there's a cool land cycle in here that I like. Uh, let's see, there's no little tear tab there. All right, well, let's see. We got 24 packs. I feel like so empty. There's no, no box topper to help us out. And let me think, oh, these cards feel different. It's kind of strange. Let's tilt these down. There we go. All right, so I think we've got our commons in the beginning of the pack. Wow, Erg Raiders. That's different art for them. I remember that from, I remember getting it in revised a lot as a common. Um, Arabian Nights, of course, was the first printing of that. So I like the, I like the little watermark sort of symbol of what expansion these came from. Uh, let's see, borrowing 100,000 arrows. Wow, <laughs> kind of cool card. Um, a lot of these, I don't know what they are, but a lot of them I do just because they ended up reprinting a lot of cards that were kind of iconic. So let's see, so we'll do commons there. So now we're into uncommons. So like Red Elemental Blast, that was a that was a card from the original set. Caustic Tar, pretty cool. Our a rare is Notion Thief. So we are off to a bad start in terms of value right there. All right. Skeleton Eyes, Ooh, that's pretty cool looking, that foil. Common, and we got a spirit token. All right. So, off to a not so wonderful start in terms of value, but that's okay. There's, a, there's actually a lot of cards in here now that are climbing in value. There's Ensnaring Bridge, there's uh, Jace, obviously, um, Richard in Port. Um, oh, Savannah Lions, wow. That's a common? In this set, that's crazy. There used to be a rare way back in Revised. So, huh. Disenchant, man, I remember that. That's cool art. I'm gonna, have, we're gonna go through these kind of quick. Simeon Spirit Guy, that's a cool uncommon. There's actually a lot of uncommons in this set. They're like two and three dollars each. Oh, Frexian Obliterator. Okay, that's the first mythic right there, and that is a good one. That is like, uh, I forget, like 15, 16 dollars? Something like that? That's a good mythic. Really cool. And we got an Elvish Piper foil. Sweet. Got one rare foil already. Um, that is awesome, and I am thrilled that that is the one. Elvish Piper is actually a creature that I really wanted from this. And we have a whale token. So cool. All right. Awesome. Thrilled with the Elvish Piper. What would be really awesome would be to get a Jace uh, foil. Oh man, Balduvian Horde. This was like one of the marquee cards from Alliances when Alliances first came out. Holy cow, it's a common. Look at this. This is a terrible card. I remember, but everybody was so excited about it. It's like, oh man, Red's gonna get a Juzam Jin. And it was like, oh man, nobody played with this because it was just so bad. But everybody was so excited about it when it came out. Presence of Gond. I feel like that should be like Lord of the Rings. Uh, let's see. All right, there's a common. Yeah, okay, there's the you know, common start. Street Wraith. That always reminds me of the Aladdin theme song uh, from Disney. Pyroclasm. Wow, another Ice Age card. Good board wipe card. Courser of Crusoe. Courser of Crufix. Cool, rare card. Wow. That one's a couple bucks. 
I mean, you get that ruthless ripper. That's cool looking artwork too. All right, sorry guys, I know I'm going a little bit slow on these. A lot of the, whoa, that elf work. That's a sweet looking elf. Um, a lot of this artwork I've just never seen before, and I haven't taken a lot of time to look at the spoilers of this way back when. Um, so a lot of this is just new to me, so we're exploring it together. So here we go, Diabolic Edict. Remember, that was a good removal spell. Relentless Rats, that's like a dollar common right there, dollar fifty common, something like that. Um, let's see, there's the uncommons. Deadly Designs, Croson Colossus, Ginju of the Spires. Rat Catcher, he looks cool, he's like, yo, I got a rat, you want a rat? Rats, three for a dollar. And Dauntless Cathar. Looks like that would be like an Innistrad card. All right. I feel like we're off to a good start here with that one pack with uh, the Frexian Obliterator and the Elvish Piper in it. All right. Let's see. Cultivate, that's a good common. Arbor Elf. Uh, let's see, Chandra's Outrage. I wonder why she's outraged. Let's see, there's the Uncommons. Living Wish is our rare. Cool looking artwork, like the bird. Sift is our, uh, our foil. Draw three cards, then discard a card. Um, I feel like there's other cards that work better at doing that. Morph, our token. Some of the tokens are cool looking too. There's a token in this set, uh, the Kobold, Kobold token. Um, that, that token is like a dollar, which is just kind of crazy to me. Belduvian Horde again, Kebu Climber, Arcane Denial. Um, so that was an Alliances card. I felt like that was a, a Legends card, but I guess it's not. Let's see, what is in here from Legends? Oh yeah, Pendlehaven. Pendlehaven is a Legends card. Where's... Um... Okay. I'm having trouble seeing where the uncommons... Where the commons end and the uncommons start. So there's our uncommons. Flooded Grove. Got one of the lands. That's our rare. Cool card. That may be the most expensive rare, I think. I can't remember. And we have Invigorate as our... Com as our foil. As our common. That's an uncommon foil. So cool, another morph, same token. All right, let's keep it going. All right, sorry, just going through kind of quick here for these. All right, Lightning Myriad Landscape, another good uncommon. Thrilled to get that caustic tar, another one of those. And the Biden of Thassa. That is not so expensive. And we have Plummet. Cool looking artwork. Destroy target creature with flying. I feel like that's cool. Stang twin. Man, I remember Stang from Legends. Pretty cool. Kind of need to eat a token for him now. Um, I feel like there was something else that did what Plummet does. Way back when. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking of Earthbind. But I think Earthbind just... Deal some damage to it if it has flying. Oh, uh, let's see. Pacifism. Ghost Ghost Ship. Hey, ghost Ship is back. It's from the dark. Alright, we have Congregate. Freed from the real. Lore Scare. And Tree of Redemption. We got a tree. Alright, that is a mythic. That is... It's like a mirror universe tree right there. Except for you don't have to sacrifice it. And then a Fiend Hunter, another foil uncommon. All right, not such a wonderful mythic. Uh, certainly could do a whole lot better as far as that goes. Mirror Universe was a cool card, but it was also just such a frustrating card uh, way back when. Ooh, Mishra's Factory. Okay, so I love Mishra's Factory, but I'm not... I'm not a huge fan of that art. That just feels kind of stale to me. I like the I like the ones where it's outdoors, where it's like a tree, where there was like the seasons. Kind of had the idea that like some little like 
artifact people when they're baking cookies or doing something. All right. And we have Acroma's Vengeance. That's a decent rare, I think. And Urgrader's Foil. Cool. Another morph. Man, we're getting all kinds of morphs. Morph tokens. What's that? All right. I am missing the giant growth. All right, that artwork I've seen before. I am missing the counterspell. I like that art. I'm missing the little tear strip that uh, Ultimate Masters has. Ancient Stirrings is our first uncommon. Spike Shot Goblin, Promise of the Brunei, and Niz, Niv, Mizzet the Firemind. So for a legendary dragon wizard, he is like all of like about 60 cents. Aromancer foil, that's cool looking. It's like that classic, uh, like illustrated look. And we have a spirit token. All right, this is a lot of fun. This is the first, this is the first box of 25 I've ever opened. I'm enjoying some of the cards. Um, they marketed this set originally as like being like an iconic set that was going to be Stronghold, guys. Um, that was going to kind of be like the, you know, iconic cards from Magic's 25-year history. I feel like they really missed the mark on some of these, but I feel like some of the inclusions are really good. So I kind of have mixed feelings about it. Hey, there's Pendle Haven right there. So that's really cool. And this was like one of my favorite. This was like my favorite land of this type, of this land cycle from Legends. Uh, Caracas, obviously, in the long term has been been the big winner, but Pendle Haven was kind of my favorite. Um, I just like it because I built I built you know creature centric decks and you know the idea that you could you know kind of tap that and give your creature a bonus was fun. Wild Heart Invoker you should ride a dinosaur, and well, that's cool looking spirit. Okay, there's a card I'm gonna have to look up. I remember getting so many of them in revised. Uh, it was called Willow Willow Wisp or Willow the Wisp. I'm going to have to see if that's on the reserve list. Um, that, to me, would have been a cool inclusion. Just kind of a, a fun little card. But I don't know if... I don't know if they could have. might have been on the reserve list. So, let's see. I think we may have seen all of the commons so far. Twisted Image, Watch Wolf, Invigorate. Got that foil already. And then we have... Oh, Vindicate. Vindicate is a good... A good uh, sorcery, good way to to nullify something, destroy a permanent, and then a nettle sentinel. Kraken, cool artwork on that. That's really cool. All right. They didn't reprint the white knights, the black knights. Um, I feel like they could have reprinted the knights from. Fallen Empires. That was Order of the Ebon Hand, and I can't remember the white one. Uh, Order of Leaper. That's right. Order of Leaper. Brainstorm. Remember that from Ice Age? Prophetic Prism. That's cool looking. Um, let's see. Dark Ritual. That's been around forever. I like the classic artwork on that better. I wish they could have done that. Heavy art. Hey, there's Will Wisp right there. I didn't even know it was in this set. Okay, it's in the uncommon spot. So that was a rare. That's cool. Invigorate. Yeah, I've got a bunch of invigorates. Pact of Negation. Ooh, sweet rare. That's about a $10 rare. Right there, cool. Dusk Legion Zealot. All right, so let's talk about the price of these boxes. Um, I said that I ended up getting the these for about $147 each. Um, actually had a weird situation. Uh, where the break value of the boxes was positive expected value. Um, meaning, if you open up enough of these, you know, odds are with everything that you get, you should get more value. Jackal Pup, remember those. Um, you should get more value out of breaking them than out of keeping them sealed. So let me see here. It's a weird transition from common to common. Like the colors are so similar. So we have the blue elemental blast, cloud blazer, quicksand, cool looking artwork. That was from Visions. And Idolin of the Great Revel. 
So this is actually really cool because this is showing up in a bunch of burn decks right now. I wonder, I wonder if this has some room to grow. And we have Relentless Rats in foil. Ooh, sweet. Nice. And then a soldier token. I'm mixing up my piles here. Or, or I wanna wanna put stuff in, in piles where they don't go. Uh oh. Messed up the opening here. Need our little tear strip. This is gonna be like the pack with Jace in it, so I wanna be careful. <laughs> There we go. Wouldn't it be funny if I called it and Jace was in here? Oh man, see, look, messed up my Erg Raiders. Yeah, that's all jacked up on the top, the way I opened it. All right, let's see, Jackal Pup Fencing Ace, okay. Okay, Ishan's Shade. So this is like the next iteration of Juzam Jin. This one cost six mana instead of four. It had protection from white, but it was still a five five. So I remember this one actually being pretty popular because Swords to Plowshare was just everywhere. All right, Murder of Crows. Oh, Imperial Recruiter, that is our rare. So it wasn't Jace, but it was a mythic. Imperial Recruiter, used to be a $90 card. Now it's down to about 23 bucks. And I don't think it's going back up anytime soon, but I could be wrong. Savannah Lions foil, that is cool. And then a cool looking little goblin, look at the little goblin dude. He's sweet looking, I like that. I like the mountain range behind him. That's a pretty card. Man, these are awesome. Okay. I know probably a bunch of people watching these are like laughing because I'm like really late to the Magic 25 party. It's been out, like I said, about a year. So, um, you know, hey, probably you guys have seen these, but I'm opening them now because the value has gotten to a point where it makes sense for me to open them. All right, Sigh of the Shinobi from Kawagama, I think. All right, Fortune Thief is our rare Mesmeric Fiend. And another Soldier Token. Man, I feel like I've gotten a bunch of duplicate tokens. I want to get one of those Kobold Tokens. <laughs> I just love the idea of a token being worth like a buck. Um, I'm going to go on record right here and say I know that a lot of people are expecting Kobolds to become a thing because of like something Mark Rosewater said or something. I don't know exactly why people are thinking it, but I'm gonna go on record saying I don't think kobolds are gonna become any big deal. Even if they do reprint some kobolds or make kobolds a clan or a tribe or whatever, I don't think it's gonna matter. I just don't think kobolds are gonna be a big deal. Pernicious Deed is our rare, that's a good rare. That's a six or seven dollar one, I think. White Mane Lion and oh, Wolf with like armor on them. Like, I, I've got a lot of dogs in my neighborhood, and I know that a dog is not a wolf, but they're kind of related. Like, no dog I've seen has ever gone and put on clothes or armor. I mean, you know, a couple of them around here when it gets cold wear sweatshirts and stuff, but I've, I've never seen one go and like be like, hey, I think I want to get dressed today. So I just don't buy that that wolf would be dressed like that. Let's see, what do we have? All right, Red Elemental Blast, Kong, Kong Ming Sleeping Dragon, Willbender, and... Darien, King of Kiljor. That is a really cool looking card. Reminds me of Theoden in uh, Helm's Deep. That is a cool looking card. I don't remember seeing that on any of the value lists, so I'm thinking that he's not one of the top ones. Um, but cool looking artwork. I'm gonna have to read the abilities on him. Court Husser, another knight. So it's like, I see like a knight theme going on here, knights and soldiers, but uh, I mean, how come, how come we didn't get like the iconic white and black knight? They must be saving those for l later reprints. All right. Oh yeah, there's Stang from Legends. So that's what the Stang token's for. Swiftfoot Boots. Genju of the Spires and Garenzo. Dungeon Warden. Rare Browbeat is our foil. Cool looking. And we have a fish. A fish slash Kraken token. Double sided. Pretty cool. Oh, I wonder if my Kraken token that I got before, I wonder if that was double sided. It had a fish on the other side. I don't know. I have to look back on that. Alright. Let's see what do we 
we have here? All right, our uncommons, Jalira, Master Polymorphist, Pillory of the Sleepless. Oh, Ash Barons, that's a good card. And Ball Lightning. So Ball Lightning was from the dark. Uh, that was a fun card in creatureless decks. That has really fallen out of favor though. This is like only about 80 cents. So I'm not sure if that's just because it's been reprinted so many times or if it's just not that good anymore. There's another Goblin. Hey, we got Pillage as our foil. That is a cool card. I remember that in Alliances. Destroy target artifact or land. Sweet. I like land destruction stuff. It's frustrating to play against, and it's tough to pilot those decks, but I like the idea of it. Because fundamentally, your opponent needs, they need lands, they need mana. If you can take that away from them, it's tough for them to do anything. Which I know is why, there's Pillage right there, is why Wizards doesn't do a whole lot of that, because it's not, they're not fun decks to play against. Because essentially, your opponent cannot play the game. Lightning Bolt, that's cool. Blue Sun's Zenith. And, ooh, Foil Blue Elemental Blast. See, yeah, that's a $5 common, I think. $5 common foil. That is sweet. Elf Warrior. We've seen him before. Okay. Let's see. Dark Ritual. Valor and Arcos. Ash Barons. Fallen Angel. Hey, there's a Legends card right there. I remember everybody loved Fallen Angel back in Legends. Just never really took off. And the Quatus Champion. There's our rare. And Retraction Helix. And we have a Skeleton. Check out that Skeleton. Cool card. Or cool token, I should say. Yeah, it's funny how many cards were like just such a big deal, like way back when, um, when they first came out and just never really lived up to the hype. I mean, that happens even now. But it's funny kind of looking at some of these and seeing them again for the first time in years and be like, oh yeah, I remember that was going to be a big deal and it just never was. Living Death. That's a good rare. It's back from Tempest. Conflux. Hey, that's another foil rare. So, all right, this is just like, hey, we got an insect token. This is like a super convoluted card right here, um, but it's cool. It's cool, I mean, if, if you could actually pull this off, it's like a like a tutor times five. You get a, a white card, a blue card, a black card, a red card, and a green card. The fact of the matter is it costs eight, one of each color plus three. Um, so I just don't ever see it happening in a game other than maybe some kind of crazy commander game that just everybody's letting you play. Uh, like, I mean, it could happen in like EDH, um, just a casual EDH game, but you know, obviously that's that's just not going to work in a competitive game. It's going to be too slow. But it's a cool card. All right, regrowth, another original card. One of the one of the power cards that was uh, restricted. You can only play with one of them. Goblin War Drums uh, from Fallen Empires. Lure Scale Kotal and Flash. Oh. Uh -huh. What does this do? Let's see. This is from Mirage. You may put a creature card from your hand on the battlefield if you do sacrifice unless you pay its mana cost reduced by up to two. Okay, so. Cool. Kindle. Kindle foil. That's good foil. And another morph token. All right. So I think that's going to do it for our first box of Masters 25. So no Jace. But we did get Imperial Recruiter. That's one of the big mythics to get. Fraction Obliterator is certainly good. Tree of Redemption, eh. Could have been worse. Um, could have been like one of the sub $1 mythics. But, well, uh, we got some definitely some good rares and a lot of great uncommons. This was a fun box. We're going to open up more of these. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, and I will see you guys next time.